Well good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now I'm over at Sheila's, I can start driving again now. And uh, I thought you'd just like this, uh, this little picture of where I love to sit when it's a boiling hot day. And we sit on there and actually we fall asleep. Anyhow, there's the greenhouse and we'll go in there now and see what there is. Well we're in the greenhouse now, there's a flute plant on this side here and uh, looks like that's a dendrobium. Chris a toxin, one of the little ones she's taking off the big plant to grow on. Maxillaria there, that's uh, a variabilis that's uh, come out of flower. Plenty of plants round here. This looks like a fires tanker bill that uh, I got for a uh, Oh, a few years ago. It looks like it's growing very, very nicely. One, two, three, four new growths on that one there. There's a Prosecchia uh, green hornet. And that's just coming into spike. So that's going to look very nice. They're lovely little uh, flowers on these. Absolutely beautiful, they, sell, they smell gorgeous. What's next to it? Oh, that's another Prosecchio Garci, Garciana, I think it's called. And that's just going over. And this is a uh, Dendrobium songbird. Nice big plant, that one. Good leaves on it too. Can't see any uh, any bulbs on the canes, but uh, very nice plant. And this big plant is a Ceratostylis rubra. Absolutely gorgeous when this is flowering. The leaves tend to cover the be beautiful red uh, flowers on these. But they do show through and it looks absolutely stunning. And that's a big plant now, Ceratostylis rubra. And these are a lot of seedlings she's got, but these aren't uh, orchids. I think she calls them all and she says they're all uh, little snapdragons. She's taking off her other plants in the garden and she's growing the little seeds up. Snapdragons, I don't know what the proper name of that one is. Got a nice little uh, Phalaenopsis here. Can't see the name of it, but it looks like a, a species of some description, which it is. There's a label here, let's have a look what it's called. Phalaenopsis habi fang sir. Don't look at, don't look at. Something's banging around the back here. Oh, it's Sheila sweeping up around the back. She's making all the noise. And this is a Dorit, Doritonopsis purple gem. Beautiful little flower, that one. She's got some uh, big cymbidiums here in the way a bit and I'm trying to get to that one over there which looks really nice and it's a uh, it's outgrowing its pot you can't stay in that pot much longer it's quite a big one and that's got one or two spikes on and it's uh, oh what is it Caliana Silogyne Caliana. Beautiful thing with flowers there. There's her, uh, her orchid there, the uh, Barbacella. I think it's Drusari or something like that. Absolutely magnificent, huge plant. That gets thousands of uh, little white flowers on it towards uh, September. Next to that one is the Dendrobium spectabilis. No 
spikes on it yet, but some growth coming up at the bottom. One there. Another two there. And another one down there. So that's doing okay. You can't tell what that is, one is at the back because uh, I can't get to the label to have a look at it. This one is a dendrobium sweet dawn that she won all those prizes with. Absolutely beautiful flower and she just repotted it into uh, a much larger pot. So that'll be there for four or five years yet knowing Sheila. And here's a nice little plant if you uh, haven't, oops, excuse me, haven't seen one of these. Scaphocephalum. Very coarsome, very coarsome, yeah. Here we are. Nice plant, or nice leaves. Plenty and plenty of little tiny yellow flowers on. Beautiful. Here's another uh, Prosecchia radiata growing very, very well. That looks like it's coming out of the pot. Yep, you can see that one growing out of the pot with plenty of growth on. And there's one, two, three, four, five spikes on this one. Prosecchia radiata. Radiata. Here's another one I can find a uh, label off track, a Glottis rosea variety Beruita Sema. Something like that anyhow. And I'll just show you the plant. This is a colossal plant, absolutely full of blooms. I hope the sun doesn't darken it up, but uh, absolutely lovely this. And plenty of uh, bunches of flowers around the back. There are the flowers there. another view of the Prosecchia radiatum from the other side and it's also coming out of the pot at this side too. Look at all the spikes on it. And we've come across here to the Dendrobium Vanilla or Vanille Pomeray and this one is absolutely full of buds. And there's some in flower down at the bottom, which I'll show you. Look at all these buds coming up. Beautiful. Beautiful colours. And here's the flowers of them. Let's see if I can get them. I think there's one just opening yet. There it is. Beautiful yellow with sort of purple tips on the petals and a nice yellow centre. Absolutely beautiful. Oops. Here's another of her Barbacella Druseri that uh, is getting big. This just looks a little bit off the other one and she put it on a piece of cork and that's uh, that's doing very well. And next on this side is the Fias Colossus. Just flowered, just finished flowering but uh, plenty of nice new growth coming on. Nice big plants, lovely leaves on them. So that's about as much as I'll show you on the benches and then we'll look at the ones she has uh, mounted. Now the first one of the mounted ones I'll show you is this absolutely beautiful and she's lost a few flowers off it because it's been flowered for ages and it's a Phalaenopsis Wilsonii. Isn't that terrific? Beautiful. Only got three little leaves on it, but plenty of roots. 
and it comes up every year but this is the best it's ever been absolutely beautiful and next to that one is just a small plant with two little leaves on but getting some nice roots growing nice roots growing through the roots there going through the uh, the moss and that's uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Uric Uricorn or something like that, Uricorn rotulianum. But I don't know what the flowers are like that on that one. But uh, we'll move over to the next one. And this is a, what do they call them, Chilichista, the leafless ones. And this is coming up with one, two, two nice, three spikes coming up on this one. One of them is just starting. I think it's Chilla Kista Usnoides. I think that's what they call that one. Sorry for moving the camera, but uh, it's difficult holding the camera in my right hand. And next to that one is the Dendrobium uh, Prulinum. Not in flower yet, but seem to be doing very well. Beautiful flowers on this, I believe. I remember uh, I thought photographing this last year, and it was really nice. You can hear all the scraping outside. I think it's Sheila sweeping up all the leaves. I do apologise for that. And then there's a beauty here, just coming into bloom with two flowers on. The Epidendrum Medusa. This is one single plant on when she bought it, and it's now got one there. Quite a few new growths on this one, so when it, when when they start flowering, it will be nice. These are the flowers not open yet. There's two there, but they're absolutely gorgeous and huge. Epidendrum medusa. And this is the only Phragmopedium she's got, which she's got on high up here and it keeps exceptionally warm this one and if I can get it down, I'll tell you what the name is. Oh, here we are. A bit difficult to pronounce that. But she got this as a very, very small plant and it's flowered once. But it's put up countless number of growths and it's still putting plenty and plenty of new growths up. Look at the new roots growing down there. Move it round. Look at the new little growths coming up there. Absolutely lovely. Quite a nice flower on this too, I've only seen it once, I can't, can't remember exactly what it was like but uh, it should be flowering before long. Well I'll have to end there because uh, this camera is getting very heavy to hold in uh, three fingers. So I'll, I'll say thank you very much for watching and until next time I'll see you later, bye.